well came in craft and design 3.0m for my dear audience in this video i will describe some different and most beautiful ideas of uh, woods make pots or wood make gardening decorating ideas so dear audience uh, wood is a structural tissue found in the stem and root of trees and other wood plants it is an organic material a natural composite of cellulose fibers that are strong in tension and embedded in a matrix of line then resist compression so wood is sometimes defined as only the scanty xylem in the stems of trees and uh, so it is defined more broadly to include the same type of tissues elsewhere such as in the roots of tissues or herbs so in a living tree it performs support functions enabling woody plants to grow large or to stand up by themselves it is also conveys water and nutrients between the leaves but dear audience in other hand we use it in different parts of uh, in a garden or any other uh, decision moving and immoving constructed uh, materials so dear audience uh, woods are many use like in a burning like uh, as a making a material like as a chair or table or other things so but in a different uh, use i can talk about in that video it is a much different for a beautiful purpose like in a home or in a sitting room or a lawn or on wall hanging so different use of uh, wood making things so wood has uh, been used for thousands of years um, for fuel as a construction material for making tools and weapons furniture and papers more recently it emerged as a, a feedstock for the production of purified uh, cellulose and uh, it is derivative such as uh, cellophane and cellulose acetate so dear audience as of 2020 the growing stock of forests worldwide was about 557 billion cubic meter as an abundant carbon natural uh, renewable resources woody material have been of intense interest as a source of renewable energy but in 2008 approximately 3.97 billion cubic meters of wood were harvested dominant uses were of furniture and building construction but in beautiful gardening ideas we can use it a different pot in different type like as a, a rectangle shape or a circle shape or a rectangle one by one carry out from upward and downward or in a, a single circle or different design we can use it for a, decorating purpose decorating our house decorating our uh, gardens or decorating our you know, sitting room uh, etc so so dear audience uh, the history of our 2011 discovery in the canadian province of new brunswick yielded the earliest known plants to have grown wood approximately 395 to 14 million year ago but the con- in artificial manner when we make a things the wood can be a crashes in different manner and different ways so what can be dated by carbon dating and some species by uh, the rock chronology to determine when a wooden object was created so people have used wood for thousands of years for many purpose including as a fuel or as a construction material for making houses tools weapons furniture packaging 
artwork and paper known as construction using wood date back 10,000 years. Buildings like the uh, log uses in Natalic Europe were made primarily of wood. So, recent use of wood has been enhanced by the addition of steel and bronze into construction. The year to year variation, trees, ring, wilds, and isotopic abundance gives clues to a prevailing climate at the time a tree was cut. So, some physical property of uh, woods are growth ring. Wood in a strict sense is yielded by trees which increase in a diameter by the formation between the existing wood and the inner bark of new wood layers which in, uh, envelop the entire stem, living branches and roots. So this process is known as secondary growth. It is a result of cell division in the vascular um, cambium or later meristrum and uh, basocant expansion of the new cell. So these cells then go on to the form thick and secondary cell wall composed mainly of cellulose, hemicellulose and uh, linen. So where the difference between the seasons are distinct, New Zealand grow an occurrence in the dis uh, discrete annual uh, or seasonal pattern leading to a growth rings. These can use usually be most clearly seen on the end of a log, but are also visible on the other surfaces if the distinctions between season is between an annually. These growth rings are referred to as an annual rings where there is little seasonal difference. Growth rings and are likely to be indistinct or absent. So if the bark of the trees has been removed in a particular area, the ring will likely be deformed as the uh, plant overgrows the score. If there are differences within a growth ring, then the part of a growth ring nearest the center of trees and formed early in the growing, growing season when the growth is rapid, is usually composed of wider elements. It is usually lighter in color than that near the outer portion of the ring and is known as early wood or spring wood. So the outer portion formed later in the season is then known as the uh, um, late woods or summer wood. So there are major differences depending on the kind of wood. If a tree grows all its life in the open and the condition of soil and site remains unchanged. It will make uh, its uh, most rapid growth in the youth and gradually decline. The annual rings of growth are for many years quite wide, but later the material increases uh, its production of wood from year to year. The rings must necessarily become thinner as the trunk gets wider. As a tree reaches maturity, its crown becomes more open and the annual wood production is lessened um, thereby reducing still more the widths of the growth rings in the case. So dear audience, I think that uh, my video and um, my idea are much beautiful for you and uh, much inspired you. If my idea are much beautiful, then uh, like my video and um, subscribe my channel. Uh, so thank you very much guys uh, once again um, thank you very much